Welcome to the next eAcademy episode. Today we will present the Microcontrol mobile application and tell you what its purpose is and how to use it. Microcontrol is a program that allows you to remotely operate the micro alarm modules from version 2.05 using devices with the Android operating system from version 2.1. The application makes it possible to arm and disarm the system, clear alarms, control outputs, bypass and unbypass zones. It also allows you to control the state of the alarm system based on the micro module. For communication between the application and the module, SMS messages are used. The application can be downloaded free of charge from the Google Play Store. Important note. When using the microcontrol application, you should keep in mind that every command is transmitted to the micro module in the form of an SMS message. In response to every received command, the module sends an SMS message with the information about the current system state. That's why the application cannot be run correctly on Apple mobile devices. The distribution process of the received mail is secured by that manufacturer. In practice, this means that the incoming SMS messages can only be received by the phone's SMS inbox. This is intended to protect the user's personal data against the SMS message content being captured by other applications installed on the device. In mobile devices using the Android operating system from versions 5.0 and later, the above-mentioned distribution process of incoming mail has been changed. All incoming SMS messages are sent to the standard SMS inbox of your phone. However, they can also be captured by other applications installed on the device. As a result, the microcontrol panel application can work in such an environment. In practice, this means that every SMS message sent by the micro module can also be seen by the user in the user's inbox. In today's episode, we will need a smartphone with the Android operating system, the macro set we configured in the previous episode, a PC computer with the Windows operating system, a USB RS converter for connecting to the computer and programming the module, GPRS soft program that can be downloaded free of charge from our website. Important note, please note that the application communicates with the module via SMS messages, hence remote operation of the system entails generating additional costs related to sending SMS messages. Download and install the application. Launching it will display the system selection screen. Then select the new. In the menu that will open, select the name command. This will display a window in which you must enter the name of the system that will be operated by the application. In our case, the name will be test. To confirm, use the OK button. This will close the window. In the menu, select the phone number command. In the window that will appear, enter the telephone number of the micro module. Use the OK button to confirm. The window will close. Then choose Save. The defined system named Test will be displayed in the list. If necessary, you can simply repeat the steps described in the system adding procedure to add more systems. If you want to connect to the micro module for the first time, select your system on the list. An SMS message will be sent to the module. In response, the module will send back, in the form of several SMS messages, the configuration data required for remote system control by using the application. After receiving an SMS with configuration data, the system's main screen will be displayed. The downloaded configuration data will be saved in the smartphone's memory. To get information about the current state of the system, select the refresh icon on the application screen. An SMS message will be sent to the micro module. In response, the device will send back the system state information in the form of an SMS message. Now we can proceed to control the system. Touch and hold the name of the required system to display a menu with the following commands. Edit. You can proceed to edit the name and phone number of the system. Refresh. You can update the system configuration data. The update is only required if the system configuration data has been changed. For example, control command text, names of zones or outputs, etc. Remove. You can delete the system. 
Additionally, the system selection screen allows you to protect access to the application with a code. Open the upper menu and then select the settings command. On the screen that will be displayed, select the code protected command. Enter the code that will be required for authorization when starting the application. Re-enter the same code in the field below. To confirm, use the OK button. Because of the introduced changes, authorization by entering the code will be necessary when you launch the application next time. Select your system on the list and go to the main control screen. You can swipe between the system screens. The second one is the screen for controlling the outputs. The last one is the zone screen. The main screen allows you to arm and disarm the system and to clear alarms in the system. It also shows information about the micro-module firmware version and system state. Additionally, individual indicators provide you information about GSM signal strength in the micro-module, current value of module supply voltage, system armed mode, module tamper, power failure, battery trouble, exceeding the defined limit of transmissions sent by the module within 24 hours. The following buttons are also available on the screen. Using the button will update the system state information by the application. Selecting the button will arm the system. Using the button will disarm the system. Selecting the button will clear alarm in the system. The next screen on the system, which is the output control screen, informs you about the status of relay outputs. Next to the name of the outputs, information about its status is displayed. Off deactivated, on activated. If the output has been programmed as controllable, you can control it using the following buttons. Using the button will turn the output on. Selecting the button will turn the output on for a specified time. Using the button will turn the output off. If the output has not been programmed as controlled, the buttons are greyed out. The last screen of the system, the zone screen, presents the status zones and allows you to bypass or unbypass the zones. Individual icons describe the status of zones. Zone OK, Zone Bypassed, Zone Violated, Alarm, Alarm Memory, Tamper, Tamper memory, low battery in wireless detector assigned to the zone, no communication with wireless detector assigned to the zone. Next to the name of the zone on the left, there is a field that you can select by touching if the zone is to be bypassed or unbypassed. Open the menu with the following commands. Bypass, use it to bypass selected zones. Unbypass, use it to unbypass selected zones. Select all, use it to select all zones. Deselect all, use it to deselect all zones. And now a few important notes regarding configuration of the micromodule. The confirm controlling with status SMS option must be enabled in the module. If the SMS control only from the list of telephone numbers for messaging option is enabled in the module, the telephone number of the device with the microcontrol application must be on the Telephone Numbers for Messaging and Test Transmissions list. If GPRS reporting is activated in the micromodule, response of the device to the command may be delayed. If no reply is received within one minute of sending an SMS message to the module, the application will inform you about the lack of response from the module. The appearance of the microcontrol application and the method of its operation depends on the version of the Android operating system. If a given function is not available, for example bypassing the zone is not possible if the system is armed, the application will inform you about it by means of a relevant message. And that's all for this episode. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next eAcademy episodes. See you next time.